Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I want to do Roxy's Weekly Challenge, week three, which is tall, narrow envelopes with tags. So, yeah, I have picked out three sheets of paper, just some brown craft and some graph paper, which is pretty thin and old, but it doesn't matter what paper you choose and some letter writing paper. So, with a little Eiffel Tower on it and some bits. So, let's get folding. I'm just going to do the three, I think. See how it goes. Um, yep. So, first of all, you have to fold the paper. I'm going to do it with the coloured side up outside, obviously. Um, so, to make the envelope, we're just going to fold it over and then fold this piece over just so that we've got a bit to glue down so you've got a little extra piece there underneath if you know what i mean yeah so that's the first fold and then we are going to fold a little bit at the bottom so just a little turn up at the bottom to seal the bottom of the envelope and then for the flap of the envelope we're going to now let me just get the journal so I want to make sure yeah it's going to be okay we don't want to make it too long for our journal so I think about there we'll do the flap Let me just reach over again. Yeah, that's okay. So, once we've done the folds, we open it back up and trim off the extra four corners. So, you want to just go in a smidgen from the fold at a slight angle. It's going to take these four corners off again at a slight angle from so that you end up with just a little bit like that at the bottom, and then we do the same again at the top. Doesn't need to be exact. Well, we'll see that anyway. <laughs> okay. Right, let's just scoop them up over there and let's see how that looks. Right, so that's what the envelope is going to look like. Now, I think maybe this flap is too long. But I think we'll leave it just now. Now, what Roxy, uh, Rachel did, I always want to call Rachel Roxy because the channel is called Roxy Creations. She, I think, you know, I think we will take a little bit off. That looks, whoops, ooh. That's the stamp set down on the floor. That looks a little bit of a of a better size of flap. Now, Roxy trimmed these edge bits. Don't fold it, just loosely hold to Rachel. Rachel trimmed so that they match there like that. That's better. Right, now we can do some gluing. So we'll go along this edge, first of all. And then we'll glue the bottom up. Yeah. 
and that's just the flap of the envelope. So easy peasy, that's our envelope. And I've got a little, little stray bit there. There we are. And a little stray bit there. There. Let's just tidy it up a wee bit. So to decorate, I shopped my stash and I picked out let me just show you the three bundles. So first of all, the little stickers are from the two big huge sticker books, antiquarian sticker books. Um, and that's where the girls are from. I think this one is from the Bibliophilia one, the one that's read in the book. And the other two are from this one. And what I did was I just fussy cut round because the sticker has got a little bit of a border that I'm not keen on. So what I did was once I decided on these three focal points and I wanted them to go with my paper. So because this has got a little bit of pink in it, I thought the pink girl can go on this one. And then I thought the yellow would be nice on the craft and the bluey tealy colour would be nice and pick up the grid paper. So that was my thinking with that. So once I had decided on the three girls, I shopped my stash and I picked out a little bundle. I'm not saying we'll use everything here, but I've picked out a bundle of things that tone in with the colors. So there's things here that are pinkish a little bit of ditzy paper and there's a little bit of pink in that background paper. It doesn't need to be all pink. I've got this, which is just a kind of crafty, creamy colour and a stamp. So that's going to be the background with this one. And then the yellowy colours, obviously. So I've got one of everything for each envelope. A stamp, a ticket, a bit of that um, paper. Yeah, some patterned paper and a little bit of collage paper. So there's one of everything for each each girly and the same with the blue bluey tealy over here. So that's what I did. I shopped my stash, got everything out that I thought I might use so that we've got three nice bundles ready for the three envelopes so let's do our other envelopes before we start to decorate because i think that'll just look really nice on that well fingers crossed <laughs> so we folded it in so that we had enough to make a flap this is really thin paper And to about there. And then we'll fold a little bit up the bottom to seal the bottom. And then we make the flap for the top. And we'll just measure it against that one there, which is about right. Open it up and trim. At a slight angle to the fold. And that's Millie getting taken out for a walk. I don't know if you can hear that. She's, she shakes <laughs> to get comfy with her coat on. There we are. And we can glue now. And 
glue your bottom up. I also have, which fell in the floor, two sets. Ah. This stamp set, which we may or may not use, Eccentric CMS 448 Stampers Anonymous. Um, we'll see how the... Um, oh, I didn't do my... I didn't do my trim at the top. Let me just make that a little bit shorter. Well, you know what? It actually looks equal anyway. We'll just go with that. So that's that one. And we will do the craft paper next. Now it's got a shiny side and a dull side and I want the dull side to be on the outside. why I'm not giving you any measurements because Rachel just did it by eye and I thought well do you know what I'm just going to do the same and if they're all slightly different then that's fine and we're going to take off Corners. There we are. Blue. Can't wait to get decorate them, that's the best bit. <laughs> Decorating and collaging is always the best bit. Again. It's all right though. Maybe just take another wee bit off. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we have our three tall envelopes. Good to go. Let's think about how we're going to decorate them. And I'm going to tear a bit off this. I quite like that to still be there, but if I take that, we're going to lose the pink, but does it matter that we're losing the pink? If we tear it this way round, Yeah, that worked. And maybe a little. Let's just try a strip. Okay. And It doesn't matter, I don't think, that you're covering quite a lot of some of the bits. You've got enough that it just peeks through.
I think that will do it. And we have our little postage stamps, which will stamp over the little postage stamp up there. I think that is perfect. So let's start with the bottom layer. Oops. So it's Burns Night soon, 25th of January, where we celebrate our national poet, Rabbi Burns who, if you don't know, wrote the most famous song that we sing at New Year, Old Lang Syne, was Rabbi. And um, the shops are full of the traditional haggis, haggis and tatties and neeps, which is haggis and potato. And tongue up is neeps. Turn deep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll be having that. And, uh, there'll no doubt be something on the telly, on the TV. I don't know. But uh, we don't go into any organised um, Burns Nights. There are quite a lot of Burns Night celebrations. If you if you look, you will find. Um, that's quite nice. So this is a sticker. Yeah, and they they pipe the haggis in to the room if you're at, if you're at a Burns Night. Because I fussy cut this, it's going to be tricky to come off. There we are. Yeah, so the piper, the bagpipes, pipes the the is that the legs of the chairs? Yeah, it's close enough. Yeah, they pipe the haggis in and then there's a special poem that gets said to the haggis. <laughs> and then somebody takes a big sword or a dagger or something, a ski and do or something or other. And um, I've actually never been to a proper Burns night supper. So I don't exactly know. I'm only going by what I've seen on the telly. Um, <laughs> Now, I know that these um, need a bit of a wash and have lost their stick, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back there and just any old black ink will do the trick. I'm just using some Memento Tuxedo Black. Now, this is shiny and I don't think that it will stay on that. So we'll just need to be careful and wait for that to dry. Because that's shiny and that's left a little bit of glue from the other stamp, so that's fine. And, uh, yeah, and then they, they, they plunge the knife, <laughs> it's all quite dramatic, into the haggis and oh my goodness. That's turned out nice, hasn't it? I quite like that. Okay, excellent. Let's do number two now. Did we want something else? Do you know, I don't know that I do, to be honest. I quite like this the way it is. And there's a little black bit of black stamping up here. Maybe we'll use one if we don't want to use the postal ones. But yeah, I think we'll leave that just now. Right, let's do the bluey. 
grey one next because she's facing the other way. So I think everything will go. Make sure we're doing it the right way up this corner, I think. I think we'll do now for sure that'll go up there somewhere. We put it on the opposite side this time. So we've got our girl for sure. And we've got this piece. Maybe we'll just do the same and take Although we don't need to this time because there's not a pattern on the... I think we'll leave it. Because there isn't a pattern. And then we might use this somehow to take away the lines. Maybe not. Yeah, that's quite nice. Not happy with that. I think maybe we'll take I think this needs torn. This needs a bit torn off the top. That's better. Are you fed up yet? Are you fed up watching this? <laughs> this complete carry on, trying to skiddle about. Maybe the ticket's not right. Maybe we don't need the ticket this time. Maybe that's enough for this one. Let's give it one last go. Yeah, right. So I'm going to put this one, two, three, four squares up. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so then I think at Burn Suppers, apart from the haggis that you get to eat, I think there's probably lots of one, one, two, three, four, lots of um, whiskey involved, I think. <laughs> I think that's probably a sure bet that there's lots of whiskey involved. Right, I'm going to put that under where that says Rotten Burke. Rotten Borough. I doubt it's Borough. I think we're the only people that say Boroughs. Edinburgh. Right, and then that goes about there. out? Are we still peeking out? Yes we are. 
and then that goes there. And that's the dog bowl getting rattled. That's her back from her walk. And it's empty. And if she just rattles an empty dog bowl, please put something in it. <laughs> I've got a wee, a wee tail of something there. There. And let's just move the excess away. And see if we can get this off. Oh, that one came off easier. Oh, now is this a sticker? Yes. I wonder if that other stamp was a sticker. Sometimes, though, you're just as well sticking it <laughs> and not trying to get the back off. Now, let's think. I think it's still this side. Even although that makes it the same as the other one. Okay. Let's play post offices. to get my fingers inky, although I think that's a, a lost cause. That makes all the difference, doesn't it? I got them free with a magazine and you know, those two wee stamps have been the most used, best used freebie of, with a magazine ever those two wee postal stamps I really I like them thanks Rachel for coming up with this idea that's for sure right last one and what have we got here we've got this young lady with the two little kittens in her pocket I'm glad to start using up some of these stickers I used quite a lot at the start now let's see if we'll change this one about and put this at the back this time. Yeah, I used them. Um, now am I going the right way? Put this one on this side. I used quite a lot of the stickers from these sticker books at the start of getting them. And then they just kind of... were put on the shelf and kind of forgotten about a wee bit. And that's the stamp for this one. With the brown um, craft paper, it properly looks like an envelope, doesn't it? Looks like a little package. I think we'll take a little bit off the edge there. Yep. Right. 
Now, I don't know that I'm going to have time to make the tags for the inside on this video. What are we at? We're at 30 minutes. But I'll show you, I'll certainly show you what my, my plan is. Ticket next. I think it was about there. Yep. Then was it this next? Yeah. I hope you can see through my big fat fingers <laughs> what I'm doing. You get the gist. And then it all comes together when you put your little girly on. Yeah. Now, is it that one leg that's on the ground? Because she needs to be standing on something. Excellent. No, I don't think this one's a sticker. Post office cancel. Postmark. Yeah, so once they've had their haggis and once they've drunk lots of whiskey, I think maybe they do some. Keely dancing, would they? Or do they just, do they just drink? I have no idea. Yeah. So, pretty nice long envelopes and I have this, which is that really thick scrapbook paper. And I was thinking I could make the tags using that and just put some lined paper on the back. But I don't think we've got time just now. But you know that you could easily make just a tag, a nice long tag for inside would be perfect. And also what Rachel suggested was that you could get your page. Let's find a, a nice page. So you could get your page and you could just use that flap. Oh, that's just the right, exact, nearly exactly the right size. That's just, I mean, I measured it a bit, but I didn't think it would go right to the bottom, which is nice. So you could flap that over and then maybe do another thing here. Okay, like add another piece of paper onto the flap. Or you just attach it on with a paper clip. Or the whole thing itself could go in a pocket. Like, oops. It's going to be too big for that because that pocket don't think goes right down. But anyway, you get the gist of how you use them. 
and yes, like I say, I might use this just as an easy tag slid in. But yeah, I'm really happy with them. Let's tidy up a little bit. Go out of the way and make sure you can see them all. I'll well, lift them up. There we are. Really nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. And if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.